Hey, what's up guys? DRC3 here, back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video, and tonight the brand new strength UR Todoroki has dropped with the Provisional Licensing Combat Training Recruit, and uh, the main question most people probably have right now is, is it worth it to summon for this Todoroki, or should you be summoning on the World Heroes Missions uh, character recruit? And so I'm going to go through the new Todoroki's abilities and things like that. And then I'm going to give you my opinion on whether you should summon on him or the other banner. If you want to know what I think of the other banner, the movie mashup banner, you can check my other video where I already did a breakdown of all the characters and watch their attack animations. So we're going to hop into the hot picks here and we're going to go through and read and look at his abilities. So this would be, of course, Todoroki Awakened at his max level. You can see his stats and stuff like that. If you wanted to see his unawakened version, you can look right there. Uh, so we're going to look at his plus ultra move to begin with. He deals 650% damage to a single opponent and decreases the opponent's defense by 30% for three turns if the opponent has Frostbite. And his skill impact is increased by 40% if the opponent is already burning. Okay, so, um, it looks pretty good so far. This is about the same amount of damage as the World Movies Todoroki. Uh, so, that's pretty good plus Ultra. And then I imagine uh, his action skills are going to give him the ability to add Frostbite to an enemy as well as burn the enemy. So, let's look at their chances of that. So, his Ice Block this time does attack all. It deals 225% damage to all opponents, low chance of causing the opponents to get frostbite for three turns, so that's not great. It also increases the character's plus ultra gauge by 30% though, so that's good. The Icy Heat Wave, this one's new, it's a combination of both compared to the other Todoroki's, deals 350% damage to a single opponent. And it has a medium chance of burning the opponent for three turns, that's good. And a medium chance of the opponent uh, getting frostbite for three turns when used uh, in a third successfully executed skill chain. So you would want to use this Todoroki as your third, char or third character to attack in skill chain. Which kind of limits him if you were hoping to do extra damage. But then at the same time... Uh, a medium chance to burn and a medium chance for frostbite if you can apply both then that makes this a really really insane move and then say the next turn you plus ultra you're going to basically kill them in the next turn i'd imagine because he's going to get that impact up and he's going to reduce the opponent's defense um i i really see this todoroki being really really good in pve especially in things like the usj uh, I don't know how he would work in PvP, it seems like he's built more for those long, drawn out fights where the characters have a lot of health, uh, but you know, that, that's just something you'll have to see when you hop into PvP. Let's look at his auto skills really quickly. His first auto skill applies to all characters on the team, it is called Seeing the Big Picture. It decreases the speed of all opponents by 15% for 3 turns when a wave starts. Okay, that right there. That's huge for PvP. PvP is largely about speed and how much speed you have. If you have more speed, you're going to get your turn first. So I think this Todoroki, uh, just based on that alone, is going to be really good for PvP. It also increases character skill impact by 40% when HP is 50% or higher. He's also going to increase the whole team's skill impact by 40%. That's crazy. Uh, oh man, imagine a team where you just had three Todorokis. Oh, what would that look like? You could have the, the post-struggle Todoroki, the new movie Todoroki, and this Todoroki. Oh my goodness. That team would probably be insane. Probably be unstoppable because he's going to decrease. If you have them decreasing defense, the other Todoroki is going to half your damage. And the other Todoroki can attack all. Oh man, that'd be crazy. And they all have a chance to freeze. Oh. Ooh. And that, whenever you freeze, you get a crit. That just... It's looking nasty. All right, and his other auto skill, taking a step forward, once per battle, reduces characters' action skills cooldown by three and increases their plus ultra gauge by 50% when HP is 50, uh, below 50%. So that is pretty dang good. Okay, so I really like this Todoroki so far. Let's look at what else is on the banner. We have the SR uh, 
Inasa Yorashi. He deals 500% damage to a single opponent. His skill impact is increased by 30% if the opponent is burning and medium chance of causing the opponent to bleed for three turns. Um, this guy's cool. And he looks like he'll be pretty decent for an SR. I kind of wish they came out with the UR version, but that's all right. Uh, let's look at this. Deals 200% damage to all opponents. Okay, he does attack all, decreases the speed of opponents by 25%. Actually, that's really good for an SR. And a low chance of causing the opponents to bleed. That's not really as important. Okay, passed it forever. Uh, increases character's power by 40% for three turns. Also increases the speed of all allies by 30% for three turns when used in a successfully executed skill chain. And the cooldown time is five turns. Okay. Um, when it comes to increasing speed or like for this character, especially in PvP, I don't think it's really going to matter. Uh, because if you're having to increase your speed, that means you're probably getting the, the second turn initially anyways, so maybe you'll increase it for the next time, but at the very least, you're not going to get the very first turn in the PvP, which is what really matters. Okay, and for his auto skill, Shiketsu in the West increases characters plus ultra gauge by 30% when the battle starts, also increases the character's power by 20% when speed is increased. Um, yeah, that's okay. And then Sports Minded, when HP is below 50%, increases character skill impact by 40% and makes them ecstatic for three turns. Eh, that's okay. Uh, this UR memory, oh man, I really, really, really like the way this one looks. Uh, this was such a pivotal moment in the anime. Uh, really, really cool. Um, increases character's critical hit rate by 40% when equipped by a strength type character. Imagine equipping this to the new Todoroki. And increases character's max HP by 20% if there are any pro heroes on the team. I could see a team with the new uh, movie Todoroki, the, this Todoroki, the strength Todoroki, and an Endeavor, definitely. That would be a, a strong team. A hard, good argument for PvP and PvE on that team. And then lastly, you got the SR memory. Put your hands up, radio. Increases character's plus ultra gauge by 50% when battle starts. Also lowers chance of getting confused. Uh, any... I would argue that any memory that can raise your plus ultra gauge is going to be a pretty decent memory, especially when it comes to PvP. If you can plus ultra on the very first turn, you're set. Especially with certain characters where they just wipe a whole team. For example, Kaminari, if you could plus ultra with him first turn, uh, very useful. Okay, so that is the banner. Let's look at the drop rates really quickly. I assume they're about the same, 0.2% uh, or so. Okay, so 2% for UR, 8% for an SR, and 38% for a rare like normal, and then for the, oh, it's uh, it's a little bit higher for the Shoto Toto, 0.7% chance to pull him, and I do believe it's less than that on the movie mashup banner because there's three of them. Let me just double check really quickly. Yeah, it's only 0.23 to pull those because it's split between the three of them, you know, it adds up to roughly 7%. Uh, so you actually have a higher chance of pulling the character you want on this banner as opposed to pulling something you don't want. So on the movie mashup banner you have the Midoriya, you have the Bakugo, and you have the new movie heroes Todoroki. Uh, in both cases Todoroki is going to be the best character to pull on the banner. Um, if you're looking for a guaranteed good character, I would actually say summon on this provis provisional license combat training recruit. If you're if you're just purely wanting to guarantee that if you like get the all might or you do pull you are uh, and you want the good character, you have a higher chance of getting this character. However, if you're okay with getting the Midoriya or the Bakugo who aren't quite as good on the movie mashup banner. Uh, then do the movie mashup poll because you do have more characters to possibly increase your UR collection on that banner. It's really up to you at this point. I would say both Todorokis though. I'd probably put them uh, about on even ground. It, I, mm, I might would say the movie mashup Todoroki is slightly better. But then again, I haven't tried this Todoroki and I think really uh, them working in tandem is what's going to be good. So if you can pull both, if you have the money, if you have the ability, uh, pull both. Otherwise, uh, this would be the better banner to get the guaranteed character you're looking for. If you're okay with the Bakugo and Midoriya, do the other banner. So with that said, 
I'm gonna hop in here and <laughs> test my luck uh, with a couple of summons and we'll see how it goes. And we're not in our hero outfits, so that's not looking good. You never know. Alright, come on. Give me an all might. Okay, fire, 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 all, all might. No! Ah! No rainbow either, okay. So we'll probably get an SR memory or something like that. Maybe. <laughs> ah yes, quiet courtyard. Oh, you know what? Hey, we just pulled uh, the featured SR character on this banner. I am kind of sad that it, it was only him, but at the same time, you know what, that's something new, and he he was not looking terrible for an SR, but once again, we're looking for yours. I'm not going to be upset about that, though. Ugh, come on, man. Come on. This one's a trash, trash bowl. Yep, nothing, nothing too good here. We need to get an SR memory, like so that's decent. Okay, I'll, I'll take that SR memory. That's that's decent. All right, and one more summon. Cross our fingers. Ah, uh, man, and still no hero outfits. It's so rare to see those hero outfits. It's so hype when you see them, but so rare. Okay, fire. Ugh, why does it keep baiting me like that? Alright. And we did not get the All Might, so very low chance of a UR here. <laughs> we got Dobby, though. Ah, uh, yes. An exemplary fan. Oh, disappointment. Alright. Anyways, the hat was the new Todoroki, that's the banner. You can see the poll rates for yourself. Let me know if you got luckier than I did in the comments below. Uh, let me know what banners you're gonna summon on, and thank you for watching. Peace.